guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a lot of fun because we are going to be playing around with bubbles. So I saw this technique um, floating around the internet for a little bit and I thought it would be a really cool, cool idea to try it out for myself. And I decided to add a quote in the front of it, just make some paper cut out and add a quote because extra. And this is the final result. This is what I came up with. I had a lot of fun with it and the outcome is beautiful in my opinion so it does take a little bit of trial and error when it comes to it you're going to notice that at first um, your colors aren't going to be as vivid on the canvas as you can but go ahead and keep trying and keep adding more color if the colors aren't showing up as much so yeah um, this was my final result hope you love it and if you do decide to try it at home don't forget to share your pictures with me um, the links to all of my social media channels will be in the description box below if you haven't any questions or if something wasn't very clear in the video you can always let me know in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to help you out in any way I can uh, yeah have fun this is a project that for sure the kids will love parents beware that it is a little messy <laughs> I had a paint everywhere on my hair on my eyelashes on my lights on everything so <laughs> parents do be aware of that but kids and yeah, without further ado, here is the video of the entire process. Hope you love it. Thank you so much for staying with me and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so for this video, we're going to be starting out with an 11 by 14 wrapped canvas. I'm going to be taking three small bowls, some dish soap. We're going to be using some sugar because I found out that using sugar actually helps your bubbles um, last longer. Acrylic paint, of course, and a straw for our bubbles. Okay, so this is the amount of water that I started out with, but later on I realized that you actually need more paint than water. So if you want to give it a shot and start out with your paint first and then gradually add water to your mixture, you can go ahead and try that. Um, I just thought this was the way to go for myself, but then I later realized that I had to do more layering of colors in order to get the opacity that I wanted for my canvas. But of course, whichever way you choose to go, you're going to end up with the same outcome. After the first try, I decided to add a little bit more paint just because the bubbles again weren't getting as much color as I wanted. Again, so at the beginning, if you want to go ahead and choose to add the paint first into the bowl and then add water, I think that's going to give you a lot more pigmentation that I got. And once you have your bubbles the way that you want them, you're going to go ahead and get your canvas, put it on top of the bowl, and watch the magic happen. As you can see, my first results weren't really that impressive, so what you want to do and what I had to do was just keep layering on, keep piling on the colors, and keep adding more bubbles just to get the pigmentation that I wanted for my canvas. And those are the main steps for this technique. You're just going to keep repeating that. I'm going to keep repeating this throughout the video, just um, making your mixture. You're going to see I'm going to be switching back and forth between three different colors, my blue, my black, and my yellow. Um, so you're going to see that in the video, and it's just the same process. We're going to place our ingredients in the bowl, then we're going to mix them around, blow our bubbles, place your canvas on top of your bowl, and watch the prints happen on your canvas, and you want to repeat Repeat that all the way throughout until your entire canvas is covered.
like I said at the beginning, I just wanted something a little bit extra for my piece, so I decided to make paper cutouts of the quote, normal is boring, and I'm just gonna glue those on top of my canvas. this is my final piece I had so much fun playing around with this technique it was definitely a lot of fun and the results that you can come up with with this technique are actually very impressive and very beautiful so if you did like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave thank you so much for watching and staying here with me and I will see you hopefully on my next video bye guys